This game is all about that feel-good, kind of laid-back attitude. Because in a city building game you don't really have to hurry anywhere. It's just bringing your own um, ideas and just seeing them pan out. So one of the good things that I personally really like with city builders is that it blurs the line between playing and creating. Uh, and we wanted to create so much opportunities for a player as possible for them to choose where they want to create or where they want to play. So it's everything from just building your city where the creation comes in national gameplay to maybe start trying to make your own maps and play around with that. With the map editor you actually get to create your own rivers, your own lakes and basically decide what kind of landscape uh, you have at your disposal from the beginning. To finally do full freedom modeling, full modding and maybe create your own version of the game. With the, with the previous games, modding has been really important for us because uh, our fans like to mod games and that's something that we like to see them do. It's, it's always kind of adds something to the game when there is more, more stuff available and people can do whatever they want and that's, that's the beauty of it. Actually my first experience of doing anything myself in a game is that I had a small modding tool uh, to a city builder where I repainted all the American flags Swedish. You can have this artistic freedom and creativity. And with City Skylines we have modding tools that you can actually create your own uh, buildings and import them to the game. But if you think about creativity, I'm not like personally that creative. Uh, I leave that to the other guys in the company. Reality and realism are of course a part of the game, but since reality is often not so much fun <laughs> as a game, it should be so what we try to do as a team is kind of um, pick uh, stuff out of reality and then try to kind of streamline it and have the fun parts come out and use those as the game. One really cool and as far as we know unique uh, feature for City Skylines is the asset importer. Uh, so you can take your objects, put the textures on it and with a click of a button have it in game and quickly define what to do. If it looks nice and if you want everyone else to see it, just share it on the Steam Workshop. So it's a really easy way to create your own content into the game and share it with all other players. Well, I, I wouldn't say it's a complicated game, but it has a certain, certain levels under the surface that kind of uh, have this older game feel to it. So that you can go really deep if you want to. But having this kind of um, combination of new technology and then old tried and true game systems is the unique part. There's a lot of cre around creating a game that's hard work and a lot of it's not always that interesting. Uh, but the simple joy of playing what you're creating and the hopes that everyone else will enjoy as much as you do, uh, that's why you're in this business. How citizens behave. It is really just trying to bring as much realism as possible, but making it more fun than it actually is in real life. Maybe this sounds kind of weird, but 